Hey, Shalom. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to y'all, Bashim El Shai. Double honor to Elvis Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work of sincerity and truth. Bashem Rakakwadash Barakatam Akim. All right, I'm coming back again to do a video um, that is going to be basically entitled, Be Not Curious How the Ungodly Shall Be Punished, But Inquire How the Righteous Shall Be Saved. Okay, even though we go into both, we go into um, the deliverance and the destruction aspects of, of it because that's the whole role of the Bible. You know, but as, as we all know, we do lessons, you know what I'm saying, on different topics and hit different... Um, Areas of the scriptures at different angles and things of that nature. So, um, I've been trying to make this video all day today, man. It's I'm like going on my tenth, tenth, twelfth attempt to make this video. You know, it just it's been crazy. Ever since I got a update, I updated my phone. Uh, I have a. Apple i uh, an iPhone 7 Plus and I upgraded it to the late or updated it to the latest software and ever since then man I've just been having a lot of difficulties with videos um uploading videos and every app is basically like you know freezing and glitching and just I already know what it is we already know what it is Esau's just trying to get you to buy the the new phone and shit like that you know what I'm saying it's just it's just old. <laughs> But yeah, Lord willing, it'll be edifying. Um, you know, as I quoted the the title of the video, you know, I want to go into that. You know, so I'm gonna just jump off already and try to get through this as fast as I can before this recording just decides decides to stop recording. So it's Second Edges nine and thirteen, and therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished, and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved. Whose the world is and for whom the world is created. Which we know that the righteous, right? The godly, um, the chosen people, the most high are, are the Hebrew Israelites, which are you Negro Latinos and Native American Indians. And uh, whether you uh, are a confusion of face, you know, meaning that you may look like what a what a, you may look like a so-called white man, an Edomite, Japanese, Chinese, Ishmaelite, African, you know, um, it don't matter. It's not based off the color. It's based off, um, you know, your bloodline, your spirit, and just basically ultimately believing in in the truth. Okay, so this is this is uh, what it's about. But we have to inquire how the righteous shall be saved, who the world is, and for whom the world is created. Because the world was created specifically to be ruled by uh, the Hebrew Israelites. All right, but because of their rebellion. When you go into the 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 Genesis, you know Genesis, Exodus, Deuteronomy, Numbers, and Levitic, Leviticus, you'll find out why Israel the Israelites were put in the situation that they were put in because of them disobeying Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus, right? So, what do we have to do to bring back those individuals, all right, that are destined to receive that promise? Okay, that's the question, right? So I'm not going to I'm going to have to go through my my sword while I do this because like I said this phone or this update software is is just trash and is acting extra sensitive to everything that I'm doing. So I'm going to have to read out of my sword which I don't y'all brothers already know when you watch my videos I jump back and forth on the phone on the on my scriptures. This is 2 Timothy 2 and uh, 10, it says, therefore, well, you know what? Let me start off with um, the book of Titus, chapter 1, verse 1. Paul, and a, a servant of the Most High, an apostle of Yahushua Mashiach, according to the faith of God's elect, and the acknowledging of the truth, which is after godliness, and hope of eternal life, which God, that cannot lie, promised before the world began, but hath in the due times manifested his word through preaching. Okay. So it's so it's always been written in the heavens, you know, written in stone that Israel was going to receive salvation, eternal life, right before the world began, right. But it says, but it hath in due times manifested his word through preaching, 
which is committed unto me according to the commandment of our power, our Savior. So it's our job to preach, which is to, to relay the good news unto you, to draw you back into, into that. Okay? Believe in having faith and, and mingled with works. Okay? It's a promise, but that promise, for it to be met, the, the, uh, the uh, you know, the, the criteria to be met, you have to, it has to be told and read unto you. All right, then you go and study and things of that nature and, you know, and the most high will give the increase. But it, but it, but for right now, it's our job to preach the gospel to God's elect. To the most high's elect, which leads me to Second uh, Timothy chapter two, verse 10. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation, which is in Yahushua Mashiach with eternal glory you see so that's um what we should be inquiring how the righteous shall be saved so if you're a younger brother you know you, you shouldn't be concerned about how or you know your loved ones or anything like that how what's gonna happen to my mom my dad or what's gonna happen to my brother my sister my my children or my wife or you know to myself what, what's gonna happen to me yeah you, you that fear is to push you towards Yahweh Bashem Shah because you're seeking aid, you're seeking protection. But but once you come into this truth, your job, your the objective is to to gather the elect. Okay, you're not supposed to worry about the 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 ungodly or two thirds or um, somebody that you love and they're not gravitate gravitating to the truth. You you need to just stay focused and do the job. Okay, that's the job. All right. That's what you have to do. Okay. Everything else will be added unto you if you just follow, you know, the instructions. If you seek the kingdom of heaven first. Okay. Everything will be added unto you. Lord will. If that's his will, then it's going to be all right. But until then, you want to seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Okay. And as I, as I read in 2 Timothy 2 and 10, therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake. Because that's who... The elect is. That's who the godly are. The righteous. All right. And that's how they're they're going to be saved. By the preaching. The word of Yahweh Bashim Let's go. Let's go to Romans. 10 and 16. We know it. it means Romans 10 and 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him in whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? You see, so in order for them to call upon the name or even to believe on, on that individual that we preach, Yahweh Shai, the first thing that has to be done is a preacher has to be sent. Verse 15. And how shall they preach except they be sent? And sent, meaning that you have to be uh, commit, uh, commanded and authorized by Yahweh Bashim al Shai to do that that job. As as it, because there's many people out there that are preaching, but they're not uh, the real deal. You know, they're false prophets, false teachers. You know, as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things, but they have not all obeyed the the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing, and the hearing by the word of the Most High. But I say, had they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. You see? So the um the word of Yahweh Bashim Shai that's going to be uttered or or sounded off is by, by a man of the Lord on the highways and the byways, you know, by way of of the internet by way in in, in the in a downtown area in the chief place of concourse okay and that's how people are going to to see it and that's a sign unto them that um that now was high time to awake out of sleep for your salvation is nearer than you believed and that's that specific message that's in Romans 13 right 13 and 11 is specifically for the elect and that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believed. You see? 
So this message, this gospel is for the elect, the righteous, the godly. Okay. And it's our job is to inquire how the righteous shall be saved. Whose the world is and for whom the world is created. The kingdom, man. The universe. Okay. Whether they hear or forbear, or whether they hear or forbear, the elect are going to believe. We ain't worrying about everybody else. Fuck everybody else. If they want to, if they want to uh, reject the word, fine. That their blood is off our hands. We we ain't got to worry about that. We did our job. Okay. So let's go to. Uh, First Peter's, four. First Peter's four and 17 for the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the most high. And if it first begin at us, what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel of the most high? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? You see, and we already know where they're going to appear. We know what's going to happen to them, you know. We that's 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 common sense, but to an unbeliever, you know, he thinks he's gonna receive the kingdom as well. So it's our job to tell them, but we have to make sure we are doing what we have to do to bring in the elect. Okay, so judgment, judgment is something that is being de uh, decided on one's actions. Okay, so let's go to. In the house of the Most High is who? Israel. The Hebrew Israelites. Second Corinthians 5 and 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shammashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body, according to that he had done, whether it be good or bad. Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. You see? So our it's our job to persuade men, knowing the terror of the Lord. Okay? Because everybody's going to have to uh, appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Mashiach, whether he, wh whether he done good or bad, being in the body. Okay? That's why it said in 1 Peter 4 and 17, For the time has come that judgment be must begin at the house of the Most High. And if it first begin at us, what shall the... The end of be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, here shall the ungodly and the sinner appear. All right? But it says Second Edges 9 and 13. And therefore be not thou curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is and for whom the world is created. That's our job. That's the objective. Is to gather the elect. Okay? First Peter's four and nineteen. Wherefore let them that suffer according to the will of the Most High commit the keeping of their souls to Him and well doing, as unto a faithful Creator. Because when you commit yourself unto Him, you're going to be able to do what it is that is, uh, um, you know what is needed of you. Okay, fulfilling that spectrum of of being a man of the Lord, going onto the highways and the byways, being assigned, presenting your body a living sacrifice. You know, gathering the elect, edifying the elect, building up the house of David. Okay, that's what it's about. That's what it, this this is this is what it's all about. Okay, it's sealing up the the elect. Let's go over here. Let's see. This is Revelation 7 and 3, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Okay. And how are they going to be sealed? By hearing the word of the Most High. All right. Let's go over here real quick. To the book of Ephesians 1 and 13, in whom you have trusted after that you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, 
in whom after also after that you believed you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. Okay, so that's what it is. That's that, that scripture right there is self-explanatory. I'm going to bring another one out in Ephesians 4 and verse 30. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of the Most High, whereby you are sealed unto the day of redemption. Okay. And that's going to be by way of preaching. Okay. So, um, let's go to, let's see. And I had this scripture, um, when, when the original lesson that I had originally done in the very beginning, um, the spirit led me to it and I kind of want to bring it back out. And it's in um, 2nd Ezra 13. All right, 13 and 52. It says, And he said unto me, Like as thou canst na neither seek out nor know the things that are in the deep of the sea, even so can no man upon earth see my son or those that be with him, but in the daytime. Okay. So. You know, nobody can can understand these things unless you're taught, unless you're spoken, and the Spirit reveals them unto you, and that's by way of a man of the Lord. Ultimately, Yahweh Shai is dealing with the Spirit is coming on to you, and He opens up your mind to receive these things. Okay, but the only way you're going to be able to see and to understand these things, right? Whether it be uh, you know, as I read, be not curious how the ungodly shall be punished, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved. You have to be activated. Okay, you have to see, be able to see by way of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay. To see the Son, to see those that be with him. Because those that are that are with him that are read right here, second and thirteen and fifty two are the are the elect. Okay? But the only way you're gonna see him is being in the daytime, which is basically this light, this truth. Let's go to First Peter's, um, Second Peter's, one and nineteen. We have we have also a sure, a more sure word of prophecy, where unto where unto you do well that you take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn. And the day star arise in your hearts. Okay. So this word. This, this short word of prophecy. Is likened unto a light man. A day star. It has to arise up in your heart. In your mind. Okay. In order for you to see these things. And to understand these things. And to be able to start asking the right questions. Alright. To be concerned about selling the elect. Going out and teaching on the highways and the byways. Okay. So let's go from there to the book of Baruch. And I'm going to end it with these. Baruch 4 and 36. O Jerusalem, look about toward the east and behold the joy that cometh unto thee from the Most High. Lo, thy sons come, whom thou sentest away. They can't come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of the Most High. Okay. But how did they. How were they gathered together? By the word of the Holy One. Right. Which is what we preach. That's why we preach. Let's go to Baruch 5. And uh, verse 5. Arise, O Jerusalem, and stand on high. And look about toward the east. And behold thy children. Gathered from the west unto the east. By the word of the Holy One. Rejoicing in the in the remembrance of the of the Most High, for they departed from thee on foot and were led away of their enemies, but Yahweh will bring it them unto the exalted with glory, as children of the kingdom. Okay. And that's going to be by way of preaching the gospel, and that day star rising up in your hearts. So I hope it was edifying, Salakia like brothers. Like I said, I've been attempting to make this video 10 to 12 times already throughout the whole day and it's been very 
um, aggravating, you know. Um, Satan's working hard. Esau with his whack ass technology and he sh in these whack ass phones. So, you know, it looks so far, it's looking good so far. So, pretty, pretty much this video will be uploaded finally. Um, so, I hope it's edifying to you brothers out there, man. You know what I'm saying? So, just keep doing the work, just keep doing your thing. You know, we're almost out of here. So, with that, Shalom.